Hey there, and welcome to another Your Tech Report video. I am Mark Aflalo, and today we're gonna to be talking about extending the battery life on your MacBook Pro. Thank you for tuning in. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. By doing so, you get yourself access to all these really cool videos that we do here for you. And if you wanna hit that notification bell, you'll get notified instantaneously as well. So the MacBook Pro, we're gonna talk about the new generation MacBook Pro with the two USB type C Thunderbolt ports on uh, either side, at least in the 15 inch version. I had a problem. I had a problem whereby I would power my computer. I'd work with it all night until let's say, I don't know, 11 o'clock at night plugged in. So the battery was 100% when I closed the lid. I would then wake up in the morning and if I was lucky, I'd get five, maybe 11% of battery remaining. Sometimes though, I'd have absolutely zero battery remaining and I'd have to plug in my adapter to get any sort of charge to my computer. Now, if you know anything about the specifications about this actual device, you're not supposed to have battery problems like this on the MacBook Pro. These are supposed to last hours upon hours, of course, depending on what you're doing with the computer. But mine was not working. So what I decided to do was, let me power up my device to 100%. I actually videotaped the fact that I was at 100% and I closed the lid. I scheduled an appointment for my Apple store and I figured I'm going to bring it in. I'm not going to touch the computer and we're going to open the lid together. And what happened was exactly what I expected. I opened the lid and there was zero battery power left. Now, in this particular case, my MacBook Pro has had its screen replaced. It's had its keyboard replaced, which means the whole upper portion of the computer, including the battery and speakers. Uh, we've had the battery and logic board replaced twice. So I was pretty sure that this was not going to be a hardware issue. Regardless, I brought it in because I exhausted every single option. But upon further investigation, I figured out the way to extend the battery life like no way I've ever experienced before. I'm talking about putting your computer down at night, closing the lid, waking up with 99%, if not still 100% of battery power. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So here we are on my 15 inch MacBook Pro. And there's a couple of things that we're gonna do over here to make your life a lot easier and make your life so much better when it comes to battery saving. The first thing I want you to do is to go to system preferences. Go to system preferences. Once that window pops up, I want you to hit notifications. In notifications, you'll hear, see here down in the middle, it says, turn on do not disturb when the display is sleeping. It's the second item down. What you wanna do is make sure that is on. By default, it's off. So make sure that is on. That makes sure that when you close that lid, it's not gonna to try to communicate with the outside world. Then I want you to go to back to system preferences. You can either click the Apple button there and hit system preferences. And now I want you to go to Bluetooth settings. Now in Bluetooth settings, I want you to hit advanced and you'll see there's an option here right at the bottom called allow Bluetooth devices to wake this computer. Again, by default, this is normally on. I want you to turn that off. Now, the last and final step is something that doesn't affect it as badly, but it's back in system preferences again in energy saver. I want you to make sure that on battery, your display is set to go to sleep after just a couple minutes. Let's say, you know, three, maybe even four or five minutes, nothing more than four or five minutes. This just puts your display to sleep. This doesn't mean that anything else is gonna happen. It just puts your dis display to sleep. When you're on battery for more than, you know, three, four minutes, it's gonna put your display to sleep. Put your hard disk to, to sleep when possible. That's a good option to have on as well. It won't affect things like rendering if your actual computer is doing something and you leave it. It's gonna control that as well. And I want you to make sure that enable power nap while the on battery power is actually off because power nap tries to check for email, calendar, and other iCloud updates while your Mac is actually in the sleeping state. And you don't want that to happen. So before you bring your computer into any Apple Genius Bar or any specialist, make sure you try those three steps before you do anything else. The last two steps that I would suggest doing if you're still experiencing trouble is resetting your NVRAM and resetting your SMC. The SMC is the battery controller. And what that does is it resets everything to its default on the device and makes sure it's working just as when you bought the computer. I'll put a link down below in the description how to actually reset the SMC and reset the NVRAM. If you've tried all these things and you're still experiencing battery drain issues, definitely bring it in to see an Apple Genius or send it in for repair because there's something going on there. Let us know if this helped you because this helped me so dramatically that it made a night and day difference and makes me enjoy the computer so much more because it's giving me that much battery power. So there you have it guys. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you do like it, give us a thumbs up. If you've got any questions about the steps which we did here, please let us know in the comments below. And thank you for watching. We will see you on the next video.